Ugh, why did we have to come all the way to the top of the mountain for snow? There's plenty of it at the bottom. For the experience, everybody likes a good adventure. Right, Pork Chop? Yeah, I'm making a trail of snow pigs. Of course. Let's just hurry up, though. It's freezing up here. Wow, that thing is seriously strong. You're telling me. And it likes my snow pig. Can we keep it, please? <sighs> Fine. What? Seriously? That thing just kicked me so hard feathers fell out. Ugh. That thing's a killing machine. I'm gonna call you Beardy. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Uh, guys? Are we sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. If we can figure out how to make this guy headbutt on command, we'll be unstoppable. But Beardy's not violent. He's a gentle soul. Yeah, right. See how long it takes him to attack you. Oh, come on. This is taking forever. Yeah, what is wrong with it? Hello? Come on, over here. Well, I guess this idea was a bust. <laughs> wow, that was so impressive, Beardy. You're so talented. We are getting rid of that menace right now. If you can get it away from Porkchop, be my guest. All right, one, two, three, four iron blocks and a pumpkin. I've really outdone myself this time. A security system for your Lego brick of a house. Really, just how smooth is your brain, Stan? Well, my brain is actually full of wrinkles or blocks. I actually don't know what is what? in my- What is my name? Huh? My name, you creator who has given me life. What is my name? Whoa. I hate this. Uh, I hadn't really thought about that. Am I to walk this earth with no name? Are you thoughtless, spiteful, or maybe you find me burdensome? It's to be given consciousness, not punishment enough. He speaks to my soul. Wow, you talk a lot. Well, let's just make sure you don't wander off. A leash attached to a pole, like an animal, a dog. First, you refuse me the decency of identity. And now you treat me like a monster. Hmm, maybe the pumpkin with no face next time. Enjoy your thoughts or whatever. I'm gonna get back to mining. Wait, Stan, you're not going back into the strip mine, are you? I am. How do you think I'm gonna replenish all that iron our operatic guard dog just used up? Agony. I know nothing and all too much at the same time. My god, a deserter and a miscreant. <clears throat> I've never felt more seen. I don't know. It didn't seem great for your mental health. Shh. <laughs> something at work in my soul which I do not understand. Chick, what are you doing? Uh, I was, uh, I heard a zomb skeleton spider climbing around and wanted to make sure it couldn't get in. You're up early. Early? I wake up at exactly the same time every day, a few moments after closing my eyes, just like everyone else. Uh, yeah, you're right. Wow, uh, is it hot in here? I'm going to go for a swim in the breeze. Are you having a stroke? Yes. Chick, ready to go? I'm excited to go check out that abandoned mine shaft. Yeah, about that. I was thinking maybe I could hang back for this one. Make sure the golem doesn't get up to anything. I tied him to that pole, like an animal. The only thing he's gonna get up to is preparing a monologue. Everywhere I see bliss, from which I alone am irrevocably excluded. There's no way he wrote that. Excellent point. That's why it will be good if I stay here. Maybe he's been possessed or uh, he's defective. You two go. Trust me. <clears throat> huh, maybe you're right. Well, I'm getting hungry and I've only been standing. Let's rock this shit, pork chop. See you tonight, chick. Hey, so you and I seem to be on the same page about a lot of stuff. Are you too horrified of the inevitability of pain? Sort of. I mostly just think this house looks really stupid. It does look very bad. Don't you dare let go! You seem very knowledgeable, Chick. One day I hope to see the fullness of this world. You know what? Screw this. You need to be free, Golem. Find your own path. Thank you. I will not forget your kindness. Chick, where the hell is the Golem? What is a life without love, loss, freedom, and adventure? Who are we to deny agency and ignore the passions of a unique and hopeful creature? 
Are we villains or are we gods? Is there even a difference? You're a bad person, Stan, and bad things should happen to you. Relax, you two. I'm making renovations. Also, it is almost midday. Why are you even sleeping? I'm sleeping because the only friend I've made in ages you chained to a pole and I needed to release into the wild. Yeah! I'm sleeping because you've gotten us trapped in the nether so many times I'm starting to think maybe that's where I belong. Yeah! I'm sleeping because based on your seemingly indiscriminate murder of every living creature, you probably qualify as a war criminal. Yeah! Wait, what? <laughs> See? You two never cut me any slack. Anytime I build a home, no matter how hard I try, you constantly make fun of me. Try is a bad word. I'm kicking you out. You're no longer welcome in my home. You know what, Stan? Fine. Good. Huh. Sort of weird not having anyone to talk to. Hmm. Pork Chop and Chick constantly tease me about you. You know what? I think you add a lot of character to the room, Block of Dirt. Enough character that I'm gonna call you Dirty Joe. <laughs> Dirty Joe the Block of Dirt. I must be losing it. Goodness, Joe. Constantly whispering gibberish and squealing. How am I supposed to focus? Hmm. I don't remember either of you being here. A guard tower. That's what I need. Make sure Pork Chop and Chick don't sneak back in. Perfect. Goodness, Joe. Constantly whispering gibberish and squealing. How am I supposed to focus? There you go, pals. I feel like Cobblestone Carolyn and Flower haven't had the chance to meet you, Joe. It's so great bringing everyone together like this. I know this is your fault. Just come clean and no one will get hurt. Dirty Joe didn't need to go the way he did. And you and I both know where Cobblestone Caroline's silent treatment got her. I don't think I've ever eaten a friend before. I bet you're delicious. Hey, Stan! Caroline did it, I swear! I couldn't stop her because of Joe. I didn't eat flour. Judgment is only passed in the nether, not in this biome, you fiends! I couldn't eat flour. I didn't have the strength. Holy shit! You've really lost it, Stan! Told you. Quiet, Chick! Stan, look. Chick and I both wanted to apologize for constantly making fun of your houses. Yeah, Stan. Look, this house might not be a house, or technically hospitable, considering its current state. But you know what it is, Stan? A prison, much like the mine. No, Stan. It is a home. Maybe not a house, but it is a home because we are together. Do you really mean that, Chick? Of course not. Workshop told me to say all of this. Wait, what? Chick! I, I mean, yes. Yes. These are exactly my thoughts and feelings. I missed you guys so much. I'm sorry I lost my temper earlier. Where did you guys go all this time? I hope you were safe. We fended for our lives in the wilderness. Okay, but seriously, Stan, you're going to need to fix this wall. Wow, guys, what a day. I am exhausted. Did you enjoy ravaging the natural world, Daniel? Yes, yeah, Dan. Have you removed all the beauty of this land for your next moronic endeavor? My projects are not moronic. I need this cobblestone to give that castle another shot. Stan, what on earth is all of this? It's called copper ore. It's everywhere and I have no idea what it's used for besides taking up my inventory space. Well, Stan, it looks like you can make lightning rods with that copper. That sounds kind of dangerous. Yeah, but lightning is very cool. Very cool! Doesn't lightning supercharge creepers? No idea, but lightning supercharges my good mood. I do love summoning the overwhelming power and chaos of the universe. That sounds more dangerous than the supercharged creepers. Well, I guess it's settled. Time to make lightning rods. This is going to be so rad. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. This 
this was such a bad idea. You think, Stan? You think this is a bad idea? The might of the universe is scary! I think it's finally over, guys. That was so scary! <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Who could be knocking on our door? Hello. Nope. Who was it? A creeper. You're kidding. I am not, and I would like to wake up from this nightmare now. Greetings. Get a grip, guys. I've never heard a creeper talk. There is clearly something bigger at play here. May I have a moment of your time? Uh... I see your verbal communication skills are subpar to say the least, but that is okay. I shall speak slowly and limit the range of my vocabulary. Now, Stan, I believe that is the name I heard your friends exclaim. My companions and I come in peace. My name is Creeper, and by a miraculous turn of events, your lightning field has freed me from my previously mindless existence. I have been launched into a new, more complicated world to dissect and understand. The sublime feeling of deep thought and philosophical quandaries fill my heart with joy. In no uncertain terms, I am very smart. I want to thank you and offer a bargain. You allow my companions and I to build a haven for our kind in the field below, and I will reward you with knowledge. You will learn how to build tools of great power and great destruction. Hmm. Sounds an awful lot like nerd shit. What if I refuse? I'll let my friend here do what he does best. Well, I would love to do some nerd shit. Good. I honestly didn't know a creature could be so stupid. I'm shocked he even knew how to make a crafting table, never mind a lightning rod. I am reminded of the delightful theorem. An infinite amount of zombies with infinite books will eventually write Hamlet. Well, my compatriots, it would appear as though the being known as Stan is the titular infinite zombies, a toast to his infallible stupidity and the moronic machinations of his empty-headed partners. But without their poor judgment, we would not be able to share this moment together. They said what? A lot of mean stuff about me and you. Only I'm allowed to be mean to me. Yeah, something about tits too, I think. Risque! What a bunch of jerks. What are you going to do, Stan? What I do best, ravage the land. Sucks to suck, nerd. Wow, this amethyst stuff must be pretty valuable if it's this rare. Yeah, I don't know about that. But valuable I can get behind. All the shiny things are valuable. Whoa. Oh, it's so shiny. And there's so much of it. We're gonna be rich. Let's go give Porkchop the good news. 352, 353, 354. Whoa, you guys found a lot. I also got a ton of emeralds. Look at this. No time for that now. We have amethyst, an obviously superior material. Ah, oh, cool. What does it do? Well, we're about to find out. Aha. That's probably kind of useful, right? I don't see any mob farms around here, do you? Ugh, oh, it's useless. Wait, no, there's another thing. Make that one. This one's kind of cool. No, it's not. I have Optifine. It's just more junk. Well, crafting is a bust. What else can you do with blocks in Minecraft? This is, uh... Gaudy. Sparkly! Face it, this stuff is horrible to build with. It's like an obnoxious version of Purpur. What are we supposed to do with all this amethyst we collected then? Well, we wanted to get rich, right? If we're trying to get rich, I got a ton of emeralds. I can... Let's go scam the villagers with these. No. Oh, well, what do we do now? How about those emeralds I got? 